Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Imam of Al Azhar al Sharif, Dr. Ahmed Al Tayyib. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation for the efforts exerted by the Grand Imam in serving Islam and consolidating its principles. His Majesty appreciated the Grand Imam's role in conveying the approach of Bahrain for it being a country of tolerance, moderation, and coexistence amongst various religions and faiths. He also praised the pioneering role of Al Azhar al Sharif in serving the Arab and Islamic issues. The Grand Imam expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty. Majesty the King for the firm stances of the Kingdom of Bahrain in supporting Arab and Islamic issues. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a reply cable to the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in which he thanked His Highness for his cable on the occasion of Ali Munfaridi winning the gold medal in the World Jiu Jitsu Championship held in Abu Dhabi. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation for this honorable sports achievement, hailing the outstanding sports achievements made under the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Nasser and his support of young athletes. His Majesty affirmed the role of His Highness in the youth and sports fields, which contributed in winning many cha championships and titles at the Arab, regional, continental and global levels. His Majesty noted that His Highness's personal sports achievements set an example and an incentive for young athletes to win titles and championships. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to protect His Highness and wished progress and prosperity for the Kingdom in the youth and sports field. His Majesty had received a cable of congratulations from His Highness Sheikh Nasser on the occasion. His Highness affirmed that this honorable sports achievement was made thanks to the support of His Majesty the King to Bahraini sports, which enhanced the Kingdom's position in sports competitions and is a continuation of the successes made by Bahrainis. His Highness prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless His Majesty with health and happiness. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion of the National Jiu-Jitsu team winning the gold medal in the World Jiu-Jitsu Championship after player Ali Manfaridi won first place under 77 kilograms category organized by the International Jiu-Jitsu Federation in Abu Dhabi. His Highness also congratulated His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Alma bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion. His Highness expressed pride in Munfaridi's achievement, which is an extension of the Bahraini Jiu-Jitsu achievements and enhances the Bahraini sports status on the international level, thanks to the support of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, as well as the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser. His Highness congratulated Monferidi and all the members of the Federation and praised his advanced level during the champi championship, wishing the Bahraini Jiu-Jitsu team further success. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with national Jiu Jitsu team player Ali Munferidi upon winning the gold medal in the World Jiu Jitsu Championship organized by the International Jiu Jitsu Federation in Abu Dhabi. His Majesty expressed his congratulations for this international honorable achievement, which is added to the Kingdom's achievements record in sports, hailing the efforts of Munferidi in the championship. His Majesty also hailed the Kingdom's sports capabilities and talents that are able to compete and excel in all sports. Ali Munferidi expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his kind gesture and his support of all Bahraini athletes, pledging to continue to honor Bahrain in upcoming competitions. With the participation of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired by the representative's council, Speaker Fawziya Zainal, the council held a session to discuss youth affairs. His Highness gave a speech in the beginning in which he affirmed the support of His Majesty the King to the youth towards further achievements and service to the country. <laughs> ممثلي الحكومة الموقرة أعضاء برلمان الشباب السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته في البداية اسمحوا لي أن أنقل لكم تحيات سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة عاهل البلاد المفدى حفظ الله ورعاه الداعم الأول لقطاع الشباب جلالة الملك الله يطول عمره أعطى ملف تمكين الشباب وزراعة الأمل الأولوية القصوى في برنامج الحكومة اليوم ولله الحمد نحصد 
ثمار حكمة جلالته من خلال برامج وزارة خاصة للشباب ومبادرات صندوق خاص لآمالهم ومستقبلهم وصندوق آخر خاص بتمكين الشباب فالحمد لله جلالة الملك الله يطول عمره يعني دائما ما يجعل الشباب شريك في صناعة القرار وبناء مستقبلنا المشرق اليوم يعني نحن اليوم نرى صفوف الشباب وبكل فخر يتحملون المسؤولية ويخدمون بلادهم في مناصب قيادية في ظل توجيهات سيدي صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظه الله ورعاه طبعا دائما ما نذكر يعني وانتم تدرون ان يعني كل الشباب من شباب وشابات في مملكه البحرين انا دائما ما ارددها ودائما ما اقولها ان انتم كلكم مستشارين لسيدي حضره صاحب الجلاله لان اليوم انتم مصدر الالهام والابداع فاحنا اليوم نستلهم منكم ايضا فصوتكم مسموع ورغبة الشباب في مملكة البحرين موجودة ومسموعة والقيادة هي اليوم تسخر وقتها وطاقتها وأموالها لشباب مملكة البحرين فلذا يعني اسمحوا لنا اليوم لازم أن احنا نشكر مجلس النواب الموقر ووزارة شؤون الشباب والرياضة على هذا البرنامج وعلى يعني الحقيقة استفادتهم من آراء وأفكار واجتهادات مستشاري جلالة الملك فأنا أحب اليوم دائما أني أسمي الشباب مستشاري جلالة الملك اليوم هدفنا وهدفكم واحد ما في شك أن في البحرين هو تهيئة البيئة التنافسية العادلة المنفتحة عشان البيئة تكون بيئة خصبة لزراعة الإبداع والابتكار والتألق والإنجاز وأهمها الامل. ف انا الحقيقه كاخ لكم موجود هنا وكشخص مسؤول اليوم عن الشباب وهذا القطاع الهام والكبير فاتطلع اليوم باذان صاعقيه الى سماع مقترحاتكم وارائكم لتهيئه هذه البيئه الخصبه اللي انتم ترى راح تزرعون فيها الامل. فما عندي اي شك بين مملكة البحرين هي اللي راح تحصد ثمار جهود هذا البرنامج وجهود الشباب فاسمحوا لي في الختام يعني أني يعني الحقيقة ما أقدر اليوم أوصف ولا أقدر أني أشكر بما فيه الكفاية اللي, اللي وصلوه اليوم شباب مملكة البحرين من جميع المحافل داخل وخارج وانا دائما ما اردد وهذا الشيء لازم انتم دائما ما تعرفونه ان اليوم اللي يميزنا عن الكثير ان احنا معدننا من ذهب تذكروا هالشيء لا رحتوا اي مكان لا مثلتوا بلادكم في اي مكان انتم اليوم معدنكم من ذهب فاثبتتم في مختلف المحافل بان البحرين غنيه بشبابها الله يوفقكم وسدد الله خطاكم واسمحوا لي اذا طولت عليكم لكن الله يوفقكم ان شاء الله في المستقبل واتمنى من هذه الجلسه انها تفيدكم وتفيد مملكه البحرين. السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته. عليكم السلام ورحمه الله وبركاته. During the youth parliamentary simulation session, the Council of Representatives speaker Fozia Zena delivered a speech in which she thanked His Highness Sheikh Nasser for her speech, which carried important messages that would contribute to stimulating the energies and capabilities of Bahraini youth and harness their abilities in support of the nation's march under the leadership of His Majesty the King with more achievements. She praised the cooperation and positive interaction of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and his contribution to the success of this session. 
The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid al-Naimi, delivered Bahrain's speech during the 41st General Conference of the UNESCO held in Paris. The minister conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and their wishes of success for the conference. He affirmed that Bahrain supports the organization's draft medium-term strategy for 2022-2029. to Dr. Naimi highlighted the pivotal role of the UNESCO King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa Prize for the use of ICT in education in honoring outstanding initiatives in various circumstances. He added that Bahrain has taken all measures to ensure that education and its development remain the government's priorities, affirming that the kingdom transformed the challenge posed by the pandemic into a real opportunity for success. And Naimi affirmed that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, will continue to support UNESCO in achieving its humanitarian goals and noble values. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, opened the Mentorship Forum Middle East, which is themed after making consultancy priority in the new world. This event was attended by over 400 senior administrative officials and businessmen across the region. The event focused on various topics that have to do with the labor market and preparing its cadres to develop talents. It also discussed how to bridge the gap in the virtual workspace and the various ways in which financial organizations may be advised to maximize their use of talents through the use of technology. The Minister of Housing, Engineer Basim Al Hamar, received a European Parliament delegation and toured the East Head housing project. The Minister affirmed that Bahrain made huge strides in the housing development field through its various projects thanks to the vision of His Majesty the King. He praised the housing march of the Kingdom and hailed the international recognition of the European Parliament in this regard. The head of the delegation, Thomas Zavsky, praised the housing march of the Kingdom and its achievement that serves thousands of citizens. He wished Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Health, Faiq al-Saleh, received a delegation from the WHO that are representing the UN Joint Team. The Minister praised a joint cooperation between Bahrain and the WHO that aims to provide strategic support to the health sector. She hailed the support of the WHO and its efforts in providing quality services to achieve the aspired goals in line with the future visions of the organization. The delegation members praised the high competencies of the health sector of Bahrain and described it as a model that should be followed on the regional and international levels. In line with the celebration of the 45th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic ties between Korea and Bahrain, the Embassy of Korea is organizing the Korean Traditional Music Concert. The anticipated performance is organized in cooperation with the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities with complete adherence to the precautionary measures. Dasram is a musical group with eight female performers specialized in playing all kinds of music using the Korean traditional folk music instruments with more than 500 performances locally and internationally. The concert is free and only open to fully vaccinated people with Green Shield on the Be Aware application. It is a pleasure to be hosting this event uh, tonight at the Cultural Hall in collaboration with the Korean Embassy. Um, we're celebrating 45 years of diplomatic relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and South Korea. Uh, of course, music is a wonderful way to exchange culture and to understand more about who we are and how our traditional cust uh, customs are in various nations. And we're delighted that this troupe is landing here to Bahrain to present to us a, a beautiful musical performance this evening at the Cultural Hall. This year marks the 45th anniversary of diplomatic ties between the Republic of Korea and Kingdom of Bahrain. As you may know, the, we started our relationship, especially from the economic field. And uh, you may see the Korean companies came here and they built the Asuri, the ship maintenance yard, and also they came here, you know, build uh, national theater and national museum and even diplomatic hotels. And since then, uh, we have a very extended, ex uh, extensive relationship uh, from economic to the cultural or healthcare or even some, you know, the other areas too. So, uh, so far, I think uh, Korea and Bahrain have uh, very well developed our extensive relationship. Uh, from the, our first uh, diplomatic ties in 1976. The British Embassy in the Kingdom of Bahrain held the annual Remembrance Day service hosted by the British Ambassador to Bahrain. More in this report. 
The annual Remembrance Day service was commemorated today. The event is held annually to remember British and Commonwealth servicemen who have fought and given their lives while assuming their patriotic responsibilities. The commemorations remember the armed forces community, veterans and allies who fought alongside the UK and the civilian servicemen and women involved in the two world wars and later conflicts. Traditionally, the service of remembrance around the 11th of uh, November, which is the anniversary of the end of the First World War, is when we remember uh, the, the dead and the suffering, um, military and civilians, from all wars. So we've um, always had a, uh, a service here in Bahrain, but we were unable to have it last year because of COVID. Um, and we felt very strongly that now that things are opening up and we have a much more positive view of, uh, of things, that we should hold it again this year. The service was attended by other ambassadors, officials and members of the diplomatic and expatriate communities. Today's remembrance uh, service, which is really important, uh, not just for British servicemen and women who died uh, fighting for their country, but for those from um, all of the allied countries um, uh, and beyond. This is an act of open remembrance and today we saw uh, people from all over the world um, commemorating those who have died uh, fighting for their countries. Um, and we never forget also that of course Bahrain uh, was an ally of Britain and the Commonwealth countries during the Second World War and contributed money for uh, Spitfire fighter planes. The utmost goal of holding this event is to never forget those who fought bravely for our futures. This annual event is held to remember the servicemen and women who have given their lives in line of duty. May all of them rest in peace. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Mohammed Youssef.